In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature in Huddle Sports Code that allows you to send videos from output buttons to playlists. Now, a couple of conditions need to be met before you can do this. The first being is that your button type needs to be action, and the action needs to be make movie. The second condition is you need a line of script that is showing the video. So in this example, I have show label plus two, where row equals Canterbury Rams number two. The final condition is you need to be in report mode. And now once I'm in report mode, I can right click this button and send those videos to a sorter or an organizer. So when would we use this feature? So for something like two point makes from number two, I can already do this from the matrix or from the find window. So this is just a shortcut for a pre-existing workflow. So what are new workflows that we can now use? A couple I came up with is the first being, what if we have a stat that's abstract or needs a calculation like true shooting percentage? Now we know what makes up true shooting percentage. And again, we can get those videos from the find window or the matrix. But instead of searching for all those stats, if we calculate them into one number, we can just now right click that number and send those variables such as made twos and threes and free throws straight to our sorter. Now you'll see that because I have the sorter open, when I send videos to a pre-existing sorter, that they're just gonna to go to that sorter that is open, not create a new one. Another way I can see this being used is when you have huddle assist timelines where each player has their own minutes rows and we can use the overlap function to find out lineup analysis. So on this button, I have overlap for number 15, overlap for number two, and I'm finding every two point make when those two players are on the floor. That way, when I right click this button, I can get lineup analysis from when number 15 and number two are on the floor. Now this new feature still works with charts and heat maps. So any button that produces video when you push it will work with this new feature.